Good evening and welcome to the golden years of Hollywood to a very special night you will always remember. I'm holding here Stefan Zweig's wonderful biography of Marie Antoinette, subtitled The Portrait of an Average Woman. Yes, an average woman thrust into circumstances and destiny which were incomprehensible. It's an amazing story, a true story, and a wonderful movie experience. Norma Shearer plays the part of Marie Antoinette, and she is in brilliant company. Mind you, she gives a fantastic performance. Notable among her co-stars are Robert Morley in his movie debut as the Dauphin of France, John Barrymore in one of his last great performances as Louis XV, and of course, two of the boldest performances I've ever seen in a historical movie. Joseph Schulkraut as the Duke d'Orléans and Gladys George as Madame du Barry. The romance of Marie Antoinette is absolutely exquisite as portrayed by the glorious Norma Shearer and the sensitive Tyrone Power. A remarkable movie. It was with a great deal of pride that I present for your entertainment and enlightenment, Marie Antoinette. I hope you agree with me that Norma Shearer's performance is absolutely flawless. It's one of her greatest triumphs. And it's interesting to know a little about the background of Marie Antoinette. Following her success d'estime in Romeo and Juliet under the direction of George Cukor, in which she appeared with Leslie Hard, Irving Thalberg, Norma's husband and the head of production at MGM, wanted another great vehicle for his wife, for whom he had great respect professionally. And that vehicle was to be Marie Antoinette. Irving Thalberg died before Marie Antoinette officially went into production. And Norma did lose some of her status at MGM because of that. The film was then rushed into production. And to make sure that it was done economically, Woody Van Dyke, or W.S. Van Dyke II, as he's often billed, was asked to direct the film. Now, he was nicknamed One Take Woody Van Dyke because of his ability to say, right, let's do the scene, cut, print. It's done. It may be hard to believe, but Marie Antoinette was made between eight and 10 weeks at MGM. And considering the lavishness of the production, the, the whole look and feel of it, that is rather amazing. And what is just as amazing is that Fred McLeod Wilcox, who directed Lassie Come Home, The Secret Garden and Forbidden Planet, directed the screen tests for the actors who might participate in Marie Antoinette. And they were so economy minded that some of the screen tests actually found their way into the picture. It's amazing. And here's something else rather interesting. One of our movies next Saturday night is Two Sisters from Boston with Catherine Grayson and June Allison. And in Two Sisters from Boston, you will see quite a few of the costumes originally created for Marie Antoinette, used in a rather special way. More of that at a later time. I hope you love this film, and I hope you remember the name of the author of the biography on which it was based, Stefan Zweig. We'll print his name on the screen later for you in case you want to ask for this book at your local library or bookshop. In a few moments, we shall return to Norma Shearer and Tyrone Power in Marie Antoinette. I think the film is magnificent. It's quite an emotional experience, isn't it? And the last image of Norma Shearer as Marie Antoinette, absolute inspiration. I saw that film for the first time, I think in the early 50s, at a revival at the Liberty Theatre in Sydney, and I was overwhelmed. It was very much loved. You could feel the mood of the audience, as you can when a film really captures enthusiasm and interest. Films like Gone with the Wind, Brief Encounter, Razor's Edge, Wizard of Oz. Marie Antoinette, a special favourite of mine. Perhaps now it's one of yours. Incidentally, this is the biography I recommended to you, the one by Stefan Zweig, that was the inspiration for the brilliant screenplay of Marie Antoinette. Now, there's his name on the screen, in case my pronunciation isn't really effective. 
ask for this at your local library. You may find a copy in a used bookstore. Who knows, there may be one in your local bookstore. But it's well worth hunting out. Incidentally, at the beginning of this book by Stefan Zweig, there's a quotation. Uh, you might get to note this down if you're interested in Shakespeare and the meaning of this quotation. From the second part of King Henry IV, Act Three, Scene One. The lines beginning, there is a history in all men's lives. The lines beginning, there is a history in all men's lives from the second part of King Henry IV, Act Three, Scene One. If you'd like a copy of that quotation from Stefan Zweig's biography of Marie Antoinette, by all means, write to us and we'll see that you get it as soon as we can. If you're looking for a book on Marie Antoinette, I can recommend a recent publication from distributors called Peribo, P-E-R-I-B-O. It's a book by Joan Hayslip, Marie Antoinette, with her depicted, of course, on the cover. Joan Hayslip, Marie Antoinette. It's one of the most recent biographies on Marie Antoinette, and there are so many like you wouldn't believe. Well, there it is, an event that I've been looking forward to very much, and one I hope you have enjoyed tonight. And isn't Norma Shearer exceptional? You'll be thrilled to know that among other Norma Shearer films that we have for you on the Golden News of Hollywood, We Were Dancing, charming, bright comedy, she's exquisite. We Were Dancing with Melvin Douglas. We have The Women with Joan Crawford and Rosalind Russell and Joan Fontaine. And we have a marvellous romantic thriller called Escape with Norma, Robert Taylor and Conrad Veidt. So there are three other great Norma Shearer films to come. Do let us know what you think of her. Coming up in a few minutes' time, K. Francis in The White Angel, an oddly short but potent biography of Florence Nightingale, which I'm sure will impress you. A word about next Saturday night. Next Saturday night, one of the most written about films I've ever presented on television, and I haven't presented it for many, many years. It's called Confession. It stars Kay Francis, Basil Rathbone and Ian Hunter. It's a mystery. It's an emotional drama. It's a thriller. And it's a dazzling experience, believe me. The last two or three minutes will just... I don't know, it'll just leave you gasping. And very emotional. Following Confession next Saturday night, it's my great pleasure to present for you a delightful comedy musical from MGM of the 40s. It's super. Directed by Henry Costa, who directed so many of the Deanna Durbin films. Catherine Grayson, June Allison as the two sisters from Boston, with Lawrence Milchior, Jimmy Durante, I know you love him, and Peter Lawford. It's terrific. That's a good night next Saturday night on The Golden Years, isn't it? And in a few minutes' time, we continue tonight's brilliance with Kay Francis in The White Angel. <laughs>